Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get underway. Jeff Gibby here. Thanks for coming tonight. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, if you can hear me, go ahead and type in yes, uh, and we that way I know we'll continue. Okay, good enough. And everybody should see a big PowerPoint in the middle of the screen. Um, Let's go ahead and read the legal disclaimer. I know it's your favorite part. Let's get it out of the way. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Cool. Steve Primo to start on Steve. Oh, one thing, a couple of things I can say about Steve is uh, I was heavily involved in a lot of the indicator development for uh, one of his methods. I believe it was method number four. Um, and his, his methods are very, very specific. Uh, very, very, and they work really, really well as well. One of the things that I, I can say about Steve is um, we've had a lot of uh, Steve Primo customers that either have come from us and gone to Steve or have come from Steve and gotten Metastock. And I've never talked to one that's actually unhappy with Steve and kind of the service that they get. And I think that says a lot. Uh, once you kind of get into business with somebody, you start to learn kind of the garbage or the, uh, the skeletons that might be in the closet. Everybody that we talk to, though, here at Metastock, that have done the classes with Mr. Primo, I absolutely love him. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in on uh, and um, let him teach us a class. It's a very, uh, very uh, in detail. As If you've been to Steve's classes before, it's, it's very, very um, ac actionable. And it's going to be a great class. Thanks for coming. You're going to enjoy it today. Steve, let's go ahead and bring you in here. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, everyone, for attending today, and thanks to Metastock for giving me the opportunity to speak. Uh, yes, my name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading, and for those of you who are not familiar with my website, we are first and foremost an educational company. Uh, we're all about teaching you how to trade uh, with the Specialist Edge because it's our opinion uh, that uh, our philosophy is that the reason why most traders fail, uh, estimated upwards of 80%, is because you're relying on an outside source to either tell you what to do or tell you what market to trade, tell you when to buy, when to sell, and you're really giving away your power. So what we do is we provide you with sound education that I've accumulated in my 38 years. I've been trading for 38 years. I started on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years, and nine of them I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin, and Genret. That's where we get the name specialist. If you're not familiar with what a specialist is, it doesn't mean that you're more special than the other traders on the floor. But what it means is if you, if you ever looked at those old pictures of the people on the trading floor screaming and shouting with their hands up in the air and making all these weird signals and paper all over the floor, the specialists were those gentlemen behind those large wooden booths. If you wanted to buy or sell a particular equity, you had to go to the gentleman who specialized in them. So uh, just like going to someone in a marketplace, if you wanted to buy IBM, you went up to the IBM specialist. If you wanted to go to the waste management specialist, you would see me because that's one of the stocks I traded. I roughly traded about 50 stocks altogether. Uh, as I stated, I did that for nine years. I traded through the crash of 1987 and the great bull market that followed after that. I left the floor in the mid-90s to manage money and to pursue my own trading. And just about seven years ago, I started Specialist Trading, where all I do is teach and mentor my students and my members all of the current techniques and strategies that I use myself. So we're really an educational company. We're, even though we provide you with signals and strategies, we're more about giving you this information so that you can ultimately take it and run with it and make your own trading decisions. So that's what we do at Specialist Trading. Now, once again, we read the disclaimer. We can just show you another one here just to make sure we cover all the bases. So please take a moment. Remember, I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using these three key elements today that will hopefully increase your odds for success in trading. But remember, we cannot guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Now, other things that we'd like to mention before we start here, I'd like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to write that down. It's at SPCLST. T-R-A-D-G. We post a lot of great free information on a daily basis 
Uh, in fact, just uh, yesterday we uh, uh, posted a signal that uh, most of our stock traders got in Tesla to go short Tesla. That's working out very nicely. Also, we, we posted a great signal to go long on the markets as well as the spiders, SPY. So we post a lot of uh, free information. You can follow us on a daily basis. Now, our sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, also has a Facebook page. So you can uh, log on to Facebook and just uh, type in uh, uh, Pro Trader Strategies, and that'll be our Facebook page there. There's a lot of great free information as well as videos posted on the Facebook account. Okay, now as I stated, we are first and foremost an educational company, and the reason I say this is because education is what turned my trading around. I know a lot of you may think, well, Steve, uh, sure, you were, uh, you know, you had it easy, you were on the floor, you were privy to all this inside information, and you had uh, a book in front of you. That's true, I did have all that information, I did have a book in front of me, but believe it or not, my first year as a specialist, I struggled tremendously. In fact, I couldn't make a dime. I was doing all the things I had been taught, all the conventional wisdom, uh, buy low, sell high, looking at retracement levels, looking at support and resistance, uh, Elliott Wave. I was uh, subscribing to all the newsletters. We didn't have chat rooms or trading rooms then, but we had newsletters. And I was waiting for every news event to come out to tell me what to do. So I was relying on an outside source to tell me when to buy and when to sell. But I wasn't putting the power in my own hands. So my mentors took me aside and said, Steve, the reason why you're not making any money is because you've taken yourself out of the game. You're not a part of the process. So the way uh, I got myself on that road to consistency was by stripping away all the things that really don't have a lot of consistency to them and just keeping my trading techniques as simple as possible. So this is what we teach in our courses to all of our members. We teach them how to trade with the specialist edge. This is the same edge that turned my trading around and got me to become consistent so that I've been trading for 38 years. So here's what you're going to learn today because this is a class. And uh, once again, I, I give a lot of uh, attention to detail in, in making sure that you understand it. I'm going to give you three of the key, three key elements, in our opinion, that you can apply to any winning strategy, a current strategy that you have that will, uh, in what we believe, make it more consistent. You can structure a, a strategy based off of these three key elements. So these are three very important pieces of the puzzle to any successful strategy, in our opinion. The first one is we're going to show you how to trade in sync. The next key uh, element is a price bar pattern. You should be looking for this price bar pattern in every setup you have, regardless if it's a strategy you currently trade or one that you uh, want to devise yourself. And then we'll show you an entry technique for fine-tuning your entries. Many times people uh, and traders lose money not because they're, uh, they have the wrong idea, it's just that their entry technique is faulty. So we're going to give you a re really great technique in which to start trading. Okay, I'm going to start out showing you some older slides just for educational purposes and then towards the end we'll show you slides that happened within the last three or four days and uh, uh, some trade examples using these. Okay, and before we get into this also, I, I know a lot of you may have questions, but since this is a classroom, I like to take the questions at the very end. We only have a limited amount of time, and uh, I don't want to run out of time teaching you all this. So if you have a question, kindly wait till the very ten or, last 10 or 15 minutes. We'll, we'll be done here in just about 20 or 30 minutes from now. We can reserve the last 10 minutes for any questions, okay? All right, so let's start off by looking at buys. All right, key number one, if you have a buy setup, what you want to do is you must trade in sync with the trend. Now, obviously, we've all been taught this before. Everyone knows this is trading 101. You have to be in sync with the trend. If everyone know, knows this simple technique or this, this uh, you know, basis for trading, then why do the majority of traders fail? Well, we feel at Specialist Trading, it's because everyone and their sister has a different idea of how to discern what the trend is. You know, a lot of traders like to look at a higher time frame to tell them what to do on the lower time frame. A lot of uh, uh, other traders look at these really technical and difficult indicators uh, to tell them what the trend is. Many people look at news events to tell them. Some people even look at the faces of the moon to tell them. Everyone has a different idea of what the trend means. We feel at Specialist Trading, we have the simplest, but most powerful way for discerning what the overall trend is. So if we look at this generic chart, and I specifically took away what it was in terms of what market it was and time frame, because I want you just to understand that it doesn't matter. This could be virtually a one minute chart. It could be a monthly chart. It could be a currency pair. It could be a stock. It doesn't matter. So I don't want you to focus on thinking what the market is. But someone just looking at this from face value would say, well, Steve, there is no trend. We're basically in a rangy market. We're going you know, lower, and then we go back up. 
and then we go back down again. So we're just pretty much in a range here. So I'll just stay out of this because there's no trend telling me what to do. Well, we don't feel that way because the best way to determine the trend is by simply adding the 50 period moving average. And when you add that 50 period simple moving average, you ask yourselves, where is price or where is the majority of price in relation to that? Now, if price is above, as it is in this example, then you should only be looking for long setups, for buy setups. If price is below, you only look for short setups. That's it. That's how simple it is. Remember, my mentors taught me to keep things as simple as possible. So if you're looking for the overall trend, all you have to do is plot a 50 period moving average. Now, you don't need to plot on a higher time frame to tell you what to do on the lower time frame. You can do that if you want to, but just whatever chart time frame you're, you're trading, that's all you need to do. So if you're trading five minute bars, plot a 50 period moving average and ask yourselves where is price in relation to the 50 period. If you're looking at weekly bars, do the same thing. All right, so now that we know the overall trend, let's go to key number two. Key number two states, look for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range, okay? so. What is it? Why are we looking for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range? First of all, let me explain what that means. If we take this bar right here, let me get at the pointer. If we take this bar right here, when we say range, I know some people have, for some reason, I don't know why it's been meant that range means from open to close. Okay, you open down here and close up here. That's not what the range means. Range means the high of the bar, whether it's a wick and the low of the bar or it can be a standard open, high, low, close. So that's the range from the very low of that bar to the very high of that bar. Regardless if it's a candle, an open, high, low, close, it does not matter. And so what you want to do is divide this by four separate but equal uh, divisions. And the top 25% is just right here, the top quarter, okay? So that's what the top 25% is. You want to see that we close, such as this bar, closed in the top 25 percent. So if we look at this uh, scenario once again, we highlight the bars that closed in the top quarter of their range. That's what you want to look for when you have some type of buy setup. All right. This brings us to key number three. Now that we found that bar that closes in the top 25 percent, we want to enter upon the confirmation of trend. All right. So what does that mean? What does confirmation mean? Well, here's the confirmation method. You may want to write this down. What this means is you're going to buy, but on the next bar only, if price trades one to five ticks above the bar that closed in the top quarter of its range. That's it. So if we look at that example, once again, we see here that we have these bars that close in the top 25% of their range. They're colored in green. Now, if we look at this first example here, there's what we want to buy. It has to trade one to five ticks above on the next bar. But if we look at what happened on the next bar, well, we never got that high. So as you see here, there was no setup and there was no trade if this met the requirements of our strategy. Well, we had another setup right here. In other words, we had a bar that closed in the top 25% of its range. So we want to buy if we trade on the next bar one to five ticks above. And as you can see here, we did. So we entered right here at this point. And as you can see, we had a nice little uh, trend momentum for the next three to five bars. Not a lot, but once again, we don't know if this is a five minute bar or these are monthly bars. All we know is that we have some type of edge in our favor now. Now we have another setup right here, as you can see. All we need to see is that we trade one to five ticks above on the very next bar. And we did. So we would have entered, and this time it worked a little bit better in our favor. So you see how we've put these three key elements in our favor by adding them to our strategy. First one is we are above the 50 period moving average. Next one is we're looking for bars that close in the top quarter of the range. And once we found those bars, we're entering if we trade one to five ticks above. Now remember, these are just three of the key elements. You still need other elements such as, uh, you know, exit points, uh, stop placement, uh, uh, money management. Those are other important pieces of the puzzle. But we've just given you three right now that we feel are extremely uh, simple but powerful as well. Now we showed you how to apply them if you want to buy. How would we apply them if we wanted to sell? Well, we just turn everything upside down. First key is that you must trade in sync with the trend. Once again, everybody knows this, but usually everyone overcomplicates their way of finding out what the trend is, such as in this example. As you see here, we go, uh, let me get rid of the pointer for a second. 
we're kind of going straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down again. And someone who doesn't know how to apply our way of trend identification would simply say, well, Steve, once again, there's no trend here. We're just kind of going sideways. So I'm going to stay on the sidelines until some news event comes out or maybe somebody in the chat room tells me what to do. See, this is the way most traders trade. And I say this from experience because this is the way I used to trade. I used to wait for someone to tell me what to do, what to buy or what to sell, either on TV or in some trading room or someone down the street. But if we apply the 50 period moving average, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that? Obviously, price is below. So the market is telling us, not an outside source, not some uh, somebody on TV, some trading guru, but the market is telling us that most likely it's going to be headed lower. So we should be looking at trading from the short side or from the sell side. Okay. All right. Key number two. Now we want to look for a bar that closes in the bottom 25% or the bottom quarter of its range. So if we look at this scenario once more, we see here that we have a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. Once again, we take the high of that range to the very low. We're not concerned with where it opened and where it closed. We're only looking at the extreme high and the extreme low. This could be a five minute bar, a 60 minute bar, a weekly bar. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the bar we're looking for. And the last key is confirmation once again. Now, in this case, we're going to sell on the next bar only if price trades one to five ticks below the bar that closed in the bottom quarter of its range. So if we look at those bars again, or just this one bar, we see that we've got to trade right here on the next bar only. Why on the next bar only? Because we're looking to catch momentum. You see the bar that closed in the bottom quarter of its range is giving us a tremendous clue. It's the market, not an outside source, but the market giving you a clue that most likely it's gonna head lower. Why? Because it closed in the bottom quarter of its range. So we wanna, you know, jump on board if it starts to go lower. And the way we do that is by entering if we trade one to five ticks below that bar. But it has to be on the very next bar in this scenario. So we see here that the very next bar did in fact trade below there. And this is where most students have trouble. They say, well, Steve, we did not close below there. Remember, we didn't say it has to close below there. All it has to do is trade intra bar. It actually closed higher. So that's okay. Don't worry about where the close is. As long as it just trades there, intra bar, you're in the trade. So you're short now. And then we enter at this point and look what happens. So do you see what a great edge these three keys are? We're in sync with the overall trend because we're below the 50 period moving average. We're looking for that bar that closed in the bottom quarter of its range. And then if it trades below that on the next bar, we're going to catch that momentum and sell and just go with it. All we're trying to do is listen to the market. And the market was telling us that most likely it's going lower. So we just devised a plan to jump on board. And we did this all without looking at any news events, all without wasting money, you know, for some convoluted uh, trading system that, uh, you know, cost thousands and thousands of dollars. All we did was listen to the market. It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier to do. Remember, this is the way my mentors taught me. And once I started to use this and to apply this to my trading, this is when I started to become consistent. All right, so let's look at some examples using these techniques. But please, just let me you know, state once again, this is not a full-fledged strategy. What I've shown you are three of the key elements to any successful strategy. You still need a, a lot more to make a full-fledged strategy, such as, once again, stop placement, exit points, things of that nature, money management. I'm just showing you three of the very important pieces of the puzzle. Okay, so let's look at this chart now. We're looking at Starbucks. This was uh, in January, just about a month ago. If we look at the 50 period moving average, we see that for all intents and purposes, we are above the 50 period moving average. And lo and behold, we have a bar here that closes in the top 25% of its range right here, see? So we could buy if it traded above, and we did. So this is where you would have purchased roughly around 81 or so. And in the next week, look what happened, okay? Once again, there was probably some news event that happened here, something about uh, maybe earnings or whatever. We don't care. Remember, when I was on the floor, I used to wait for earnings to come out to tell me what to do. If I had waited for the earnings or the announcement to come out, I would have bought way up here. And most likely, I would have gotten scared once we didn't do anything and just exited, you know, probably for just a little gain or maybe uh, broken even on the trade. 
But had I listened to the market and learned how to listen to the market, I would have entered before this gap opening. Now, as you see here, we have another scenario. It just doesn't end there. We have another scenario where we have a bar closing in the top 25% of its range. So you could have entered again right here, and then the market continues to go higher. See how easy it is when you're in sync with the market and you're learning to listen to the market itself. Okay, let's look at now at a sell uh, setup. Uh, this is in GoPro, and we're talking about the beginning of the year. As we see here, we are below the 50-period moving average. So what does this tell us? It tells us that we're only looking to go short. We are in no way thinking of buying uh, GoPro. We're only looking at it from the sell perspective. So you can either look at it by going short, or you can stay on the sidelines if you only want to buy. All right. Now, let's just say your strategy, whatever it is, has told you that this is the sell zone right here. This is where you want to look to sell. Well, we have one scenario where we could have gone short here because we closed in the bottom quarter of its range, but we never traded below, so there's no setup there. So we don't take a trade, but we're still in the sell zone. We have another setup here where the bar closes in the bottom quarter. Remember, it has to trade below on the next bar, and it never did. So lastly, we get one more example here where we could go short because we're in the uh, sell zone of your particular strategy, but it has to trade here on the next bar only. So if we look forward, we see that it did trade there. So now you're short, you're short GoPro, and look what happens coming into uh, the first month, just about a month ago. Remember, we're not looking at anything other than listening to the market itself. Okay, take another example here. <clears throat> we're going to be uh, looking at FIS. Now, obviously, the only thing we're going to be doing is looking for buy setups. Why? Because we're above the 50-period moving average. So someone using these three key elements could have said, well, where are the buy setups using these? Well, you think you would have had a, a, a nice amount of buy setups using what I taught you today? These are all areas where you could have gone long FIS uh, starting uh, in the, at the end of uh, December 2014, coming into this uh, second week of February. What if we take it over and look at APA, Apache, uh, Apache Oil? Now, obviously, we're only looking to go short. Why? Because price is below the 50-period moving average. We're not in any way going to think about trying to pick a bottom. This is where most people lose money because they've always been taught, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, if something is low, that's when you buy. Okay, something has you know, got to some support level, some Fibonacci support, or some uh, indicator is too oversold. Well, we feel at Specialist Trading, there's no such thing as oversold because things can go as low as they want to, or even as high as they want to. So in this case, because we're below the 50, you want to be in sync with the overall trend. Therefore, you're only looking to go short. So using the three key elements I just taught you, look at all the uh, different places you could have applied them to go short APA this past couple of months. All right, let's look at the E-mini. The same concept. We haven't changed anything just because we're looking at the E-mini. Let's look at a chart now, a daily chart. As we see here, price was originally below a little bit, but then we crossed back above. And we have a bar here that closes in its top 25%. So we could have gone long there or decided to go long here. These were all setups that you could have gone long using these three key elements I just share with you coming into this past week. Now, I realize some of you don't trade daily bars, so we can go down to an hourly bar. Now, this was just, uh, uh, I believe this was on the 20th, I, if we see here correctly. My eyesight is a little tough there, but I believe that is the, the, the 20th. What we're looking at is originally price was above the 50-period moving average. Okay, So price is above the 50-period moving average, but then we crossed below it. And coincidentally, we have a bar that closes in its bottom 25%. So that's valid. But you could have gone short using the technique right here on the next bar. Look what happened after that. Okay, that doesn't look like a lot, but we're really talking about 40 or 50 points going down on the E-mini. This is on an hourly chart. Now, if you miss that initial entry point, well, guess what? You had a lot more chances using the techniques I just shared with you. And I want to show you something that happened three days ago. This was Friday, and we're going down to a smaller time frame. Just to show you that this is, you know, we're not cherry picking things that happened a month or two ago. So many people show charts and they're a year old. We like to show you that this works in real time. This works all the time. 
Let's look at what happened Friday. On a five minute chart, on the 20th, we were coming into the end of the day. And as you can see here, we were price just crossed above the 50 period moving average and started to go higher. Now using the three techniques I just shared with you today, look how you could have taken advantage and gone long on this rally at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day on Friday. And then we can lastly apply this to the currency pairs in the Forex markets. For you Forex traders out there, if we look at a chart here, this is a weekly chart of the Canadian dollar. Now we are above the 50 period moving average, but we seem to have sold off a little bit here. But as we get right to the 50 period, we have a bar that closes in the top quarter of its range. So this is our entry point since we traded above it on a weekly basis on the next bar. So we don't change the rules if we're looking at a weekly time frame or if we're looking at a five minute time frame. It's the same key elements that we're using regardless of market and regardless of time frame. So as you can see here, you could have entered right there and look what happened. Okay. This was going back a weekly basis. This was going back, I believe, down to 2014, uh, back in July. Now, if you missed that initial setup, well, guess what? There were a lot more chances to get in just applying the three key elements I shared with you. Now, that's on a weekly basis. If you want to go to a daily time frame, here's a, a chart of the euro dollar. Obviously, the euro dollar is below the 50 period moving average. So what does that tell us? It tells us that there is no way in the world that we're going to get a buy signal to go long the euro dollar. And had you tried to go long the euro dollar, you probably would have lost money or would have been very quick. It's much easier if you swim with the current at your back as opposed to try and swim upstream. And had you been trying to buy the euro dollar all the way down, you would be swimming upstream. But this is unfortunately the way 99.9% .9 of all traders trade. They try to pick bottoms and pick tops and there's just no consistency in them. It will work every once in a while. I know this from uh, you know, past experience because that's the way I used to trade. But the times it doesn't work, you give everything back. So there's no consistency. And we don't want to teach traders to make a few good trades and then give everything back. It doesn't do anyone any good. It doesn't you any, do you any good. It doesn't do us any good in terms of our integrity and, and how we taught you. But what does do everyone good if you have consistency in your trading. And the way to get consistency is by being in sync with the overall trend. How do we do that? We just plot the 50 period moving average and ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? If price is above, we only look for buy setups. If price is below, as it is here in the euro dollar, we only look for sell setups. Now, now that we know to go short, we can simply apply those other key elements and look at all the places where you could have applied those to go short all the way down in the euro dollar. Okay, so let's recap before we go to any questions and uh, also before we talk about a great offer we have for all the attendees today. We share with you how to get in sync with the trend. We know that everyone has a different idea of how to pick the trend. You know, once again, some people say, well, Steve, I like to look at the daily time frame to tell me what to do on a five minute bar. Or I like to look at the weekly time frame to tell me what to do on a daily bar, okay? There's nothing wrong with that technique, but in my 38 years of trading, I have found there to be no consistency in that. I haven't found any proof or evidence that that really gives you more consistency than just simply trading the chart you're looking at. So once again, I only teach what I trade myself. I only look at the chart I'm trading. So if I'm trading a five minute chart that day, I apply a, five, a 50 period moving average and just ask myself where price is for that five minute chart. If I'm trading a daily or a weekly chart, I do the same thing. Plus, it doesn't matter what market. If I'm trading the currency pairs or if I'm trading stocks, I do the same concept. So at Specialist Trading, what we feel is the simplest plus the most powerful way to be in sync with the trend is by simply adding a 50 period simple moving average. You don't have to buy some indicator or have some convoluted logic that's very difficult to figure out. Just apply that and ask yourself, where is price in relation? That's it. Okay. Once you know what the trend is, we go to key number two. We want to look for that bar pattern, okay? If the bar uh, is four points, let's just say to make it easy, from 50 to 54, well, that's the range, four points. You just simply divide that by four. So 50 to 51 is the bottom quarter uh, percent of that bar. 51 to 52 is the next quarter. 52 to 53 is the third quarter. And 53 to 54 is the top 25%. So if we're looking to go long, we want to see that price closes in that top quarter. 
All right? It doesn't matter if we're looking at an open high-low close bar or a candlestick. You just measure the top to bottom, and that's your range, and then divide it by four. You want to see, if you're going long, that price closed within the top 25%. If you're going short, it closed in the bottom. So regardless of what strategy you have, let's say you have a strategy that you like, that works pretty well for you. Well, we feel that you'll really amp up your odds for success if you don't enter until you find the bar that closes either in the top or 25%. And then once you find that bar, we go to key number three. Don't just simply enter at the market. So many traders are right in their idea. In other words, uh, it's right to go long or right to go short according to their strategy or technique. It's just that their entry technique is faulty. They enter at the wrong time and they usually, uh, it doesn't go in their favor right off the bat. You know, as traders, when you buy something, I know this personally, <laughs> when I buy something, I want to see the minute I buy it, it continues to go higher. And same way when I sell something. When I sell something, I want to see the minute I sell it, it goes lower. So when you just buy at the market or buy with a limit and vice versa for selling, many times that doesn't happen. But if you use this entry technique by entering one or five ticks above or one or five ticks below to go short, most times the momentum carries through into that direction that you want it to go. So this will work if you're trading stocks, if you're trading futures, if you're trading currency pairs, if you're trading commodities. These techniques are so easily uh, transferable onto any market in any time frame. I use them, I've been using them for over 30 years. But once again, there are only three of the key elements. So in closing here, I want you to ask yourself, and I want you to ask yourself honestly, do you think any of these edges, any of these three key elements I shared with you today could have helped your trading this past year? And, and, and be honest. I mean, look at your, your trading. Let's, let's say that you only decided to use one of these key elements, which is the 50 period moving average. I can almost guarantee you that if you look back at your last 10 or 20 trades, the reason why you had some losers there is because you were out of sync with this simple rule. Most likely you were buying below the 50 period moving average and selling above. So we just gave you a great edge that you can start using for free. What if you wanted to apply all three? We really feel <clears throat> that you could ramp up your odds for success simply by applying these three edges to any current strategy or system that you currently trade, or you can even build a strategy based off of these edges, okay? Now, I know a lot of people are probably saying, well, Steve, I, I'm new to trading. This is great information, but I don't, don't really have the, the uh, the knowledge or the experience to apply these, or I don't even have a strategy myself. Well, if I could just take a moment, this is what we want to offer all the attendees because of our association with Metastock and because we want to really, once again, show you that our motivation is about teaching you. We want to offer you a great deal today, which is our package of our Secrets of a Stock Exchange Specialist training sessions. Now, what this is, this is a three-hour video that was taken of me speaking at a conference in Denver, Colorado about three years ago. Okay, I was asked to speak at a seminar and I spoke in front of hundreds of people that paid good money to uh, have me share what I've learned in my 38 years where I gave many more edges such as the ones I just shared with you today. I also talked about uh, the difference between a system versus a strategy. I shared what indicators you should be using, which ones you should not be using. And I think the most important thing about this Secrets of the Stock Exchange video seminar is that I, I gave the complete rules to one of our best pullback strategies. That's strategy number one. Now, remember, I just gave you three key elements, but I kept repeating that this, this is not a strategy. They're just three of the key elements to a strategy. But in this video seminar, I actually give you all the rules. I give you the entry points. I give you the exit points. I give you stop placement. I even show you how to trade it aggressively or conservatively. And then lastly, I share with you how to track the trade if you want to stay in it much longer. In fact, let me share with you uh, what our members saw this last couple of months here that the strategy actually generates signals in. If we look here, we see CVS. These were actual signals generated by using this technique. And as you see, it's a little bit different from what I just shared with you, okay? We don't, in this technique, we don't need to see the bar close in the top 25%, but we still use other techniques that are just as valuable. But look how we caught it almost on the lows before the market started to head higher. Then we had a sell-off here where most people were thinking we were going much lower. Strategy number one generated a buy signal. This was on the 5th of January, just about a month or so ago, and then look what happened. And then just a couple of weeks ago, we had another sell-off, 
And lo and behold, strategy number one generated another buy signal, okay? So these are the rules as applied to stocks. You can also apply this to futures trading. Here's a five minute chart of the E-mini. I'm sorry, this is a 10 minute chart of the E-mini. And this was on the ninth. This was just a week or so ago. As you can see here on this 10 minute chart, we have a nice bounce up, but strategy number one generated a sell signal. And then look what happened. Okay, so for all you intraday traders here, this is a great pullback technique. We had another rally, another sell setup generated, and then another sell off. And then lastly, you can use this same technique on the currency pairs. As we see here, here's a daily chart of the Canadian dollar. Each time we had a sell off, strategy number one generated a buy signal, another rally ensued, and then a sell off, another buy signal. And you see how we catch these lows on the pullback. So this is a great strategy. Once again, this is all included in our three hour video. This is an online course. This is not something that you have to have mailed to you. It's something that's uh, online. It's yours to keep. It's not something that's only good for two weeks. It's yours for life because you're a member of Specialist Trading now that you purchased this. Now on our sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, they market and promote this three hour training session of me speaking at the conference for close to $1,000. Once again, because of our association with Metastock and for all the attendees today, we've dropped the price down to $37. So you get everything that is actually sold on a daily basis for close to $1,000 down to $37. I'm sure many of you probably spent more than that in the markets trading today. So this is yours. You're a member of Specialist Trading Now and a student of mine. And you also have access to my personal email where you can contact me whenever you'd like to ask me any question you'd like concerning all of the, the different tips, techniques, and edges, as well as strategy number one that you learned in this session. So this is a great, great way to learn, to become a student of mine for a very deep discounted price, $37 only, but this is for a limited time only. So if you're interested in learning how to get this great $37 package, you can go to our sister site. They market and promote all of my courses and strategies. That's protraderstrategies.com. And what you can see there at the bottom where the, uh, uh, pointer is that is the link where you want to copy that down that will automatically take you to the sign up page where you can just automatically go to the sign up page and take advantage of that $37 deal okay now if you'd like to speak to any of the trading consultants you can email them at the email address here at trading at protraderstrategies.com or you can call them directly at area code 310598 6677. They're standing by the phones right now to answer any question you may have. But if you want to just take advantage of that $37 deal, you can just copy and, and paste this onto your browser. Or if you look in the chat box, I believe they've already posted that link up as well. So you can just take advantage of that offer and just click that on and it will automatically take you to that page. Okay. So I'm going to leave this screen up here and I want to thank you. If anyone had any questions, now's the time to ask. We still have a few more minutes left. And I want to thank you all for attending, and I hope you take advantage of this deal. And let me look and see uh, uh, some of the questions here. Uh, Michael is asking, what is a tick? Well, Michael, a tick is just simply a unit of measurement. So in other words, if you're trading stocks, and let's say the stock, the last sale was at 50, okay? Well, 50.01 is one tick. 50.02 is two ticks, so it's cents for stocks. Now, it's different for futures, it's different for currency pairs. In fact, in currency pairs, they call them pips. But it's just a unit of measurement. So for each point on the E-mini futures, it's basically uh, four ticks. In other words, uh, the E-mini the e futures go by quarters. So uh, it's, it's totally different. But if you're not familiar, I would contact your, uh, your broker and they can explain it more to you and what you're interested in doing. It's just simply a unit of measurement, okay? Uh, Steve is asking, uh, or will this work for futures? Yes, it does. I, in fact, I showed you a couple of examples of how it works on futures. In fact, uh, I applied these techniques today for my own trading in futures. Okay, so it, it, it doesn't matter what market you trade. It doesn't matter what time frame you trade. It doesn't matter what direction you trade. These are concepts and principles that have stood the test of time. Remember, I was taught these things some 38 years ago, and I haven't really altered them in any way since that. So they're just very basic concepts that have stood the test of time. Now, I'm not going to sit here and promise you that every trade with the strategies or using these elements will, will work out and be successful. But what they do have is a certain element of consistency. So rather than trade something that works great, but then stops working, 
these will work well and then they'll have maybe a small minor loss and then they'll work well again and maybe a small minor loss. So it'll be more of a two step forward, one step back approach. And that's what you need to be successful in the markets because that's what consistency is. You know, I know tons of traders when I was trading on the floor who made hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in a relatively short time. And not one of those traders was able to hold on to it. In fact, they lost it all. So there's no real consistency in going for the swinging for the fences and going for the home runs. What will sustain you so that you can be trading 20, 30, 40 years down the road are techniques like these. Two steps forward, one step back. That's what consistency is, okay? Steve also asked, what about stops? Well, remember I, I, I said a couple of times, these were just three key elements of a trading strategy. But in order to have the full elements, you needed to have stop placement. You need to know about money management. You need to know about exit points. All right. We didn't share those with you because those are in the $37 course. So if you're interested in learning more about where to place your stops, where to exit uh, on certain uh, points, I, $37 is an extremely inexpensive price to learn all about that information. Okay. Uh, uh, is it, uh, KJ is asking, is it hard uh, to program an indicator to measure the top 25%? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure uh, KJ was basically asking about, you know, having something automatically tell you uh, when you're in the top 25% or bottom 25% of a bar. Now, remember, we use that in probably about three quarters of our strategies. So the strategy in strategy number one does not require that. So you don't have to worry about that one. But the, the majority, uh, two thirds of our other strategies do. So uh, if you decide to become a member of ours and purchase other strategies, we will automatically give you buy and sell arrows. You'll see on Metastock, we furnish you with buy and sell arrows where a strategy is generated where that bar does close in the bottom or top 25%. But for strategy number one, it's not required, okay? Um, I'll ask, uh, s and will the 20 period simple moving average get you in earlier? Well, the reason why we don't use the 20 period moving average is because we have found that that concept works great for shorter time frames. So in other words, if you only trade, uh, you know, intraday bars or, or small time frames, the 20 period moving average is good. All right. But let's say you want to trade a daily bar every once in a while or a weekly bar or even a monthly bar. Okay. The 20 period is not really going to do you very good at that, you know. So we want to make things as simple as possible. Therefore, we don't want to pick a different moving average for each time frame. Remember I said we don't want to overcomplicate our trading. Overcomplication is what brings you into that 80 percentile of losing traders. When you keep things simple, that's when you get on the road to consistency. So the simple way is just to have one indicator, one size that fits all. And in my 38 years, I found that the 50 period seems to move, work with all time frames, all directions. So if you feel like you want to experiment, that's fine. But what we're really interested in is if you understand the concept that if price is below, you only look for sell setups. If price is above, you only look for buy setups. But it doesn't just mean that if price is above, you buy at the market and vice versa. All it means is that it's telling you what side of the market you should be on. That's all it does. So uh, you still have to have structure such as a strategy or three of these key elements to tell you when to get in, when to get out. That's what we teach you in our courses. So I would stick, I would stick basically with, uh, with just the 50 period moving average. Okay. Uh, Paul asked, do you focus on cap size or sector or industry? No, we don't. No, Paul, once again, in our opinion, that all that does is serve to complicate things. Okay. You, you're, you're spending too much time trying to weed out, if, a, if, if our strategies find a setup, well, through our training and through your experience and, and learning, uh, you can decide whether you want to take it or not. Okay, that's it. It's that simple. We don't want to overcomplicate things by looking at the cap size, by looking at volume, by looking at the sector. By, we don't do that. It's just too overcomplicated. We, we, our strategies are generated. We get hundreds of setup each night and we work with you on how to define which one best suits your needs. Someone may want to take a setup on a hundred dollar stock. Someone may say, no, I only like to take $20 stock. That's fine. But everyone trades differently. So we go over this with you in our classes because once again, it's almost like a private mentorship. A great way to start out is by taking advantage of that $37 deal. 
Then the next strategy after that, if you're excited with it, is strategy number four. That's probably our most popular strategy and our most consistent strategy to date. It incorporates all of those three key elements I just shared with you today, and you can apply it with Metastock. It works great on Metastock. Okay. Um, do you can, uh, consider earnings releases when using this entry technique? Uh, Helen asked that. No, I don't, Helen. As a matter of fact, if you saw on uh, that example I, I said earlier in the um, presentation, I believe it was in Starbucks. It was one of the first few slides I had. Uh, I, I believe there was an earning announcement and the stock gapped up about a couple, two or three or four points. Well, the three key elements told you a couple of days in advance that the stock was going higher because you know of all the things it was above the 50 period moving average it closed in the top 25 percent and it traded above it on the next day so we didn't need to care what the the uh, uh news events were we already got all of our information from the market uh just to you know once again talking about how i learned you know i i don't say this to to look down on people that trade this way i i say this from personal experience i used to trade this way when i was on the floor my first year I waited, you know, with bated breath on every news earnings announcement, on everything that was coming out on, uh, you know, the, the money supply and on, uh, you know, job, uh, jobless claims and everything. I just, I couldn't make a decision until that news came out, okay? My mentors told me, they said, Steve, there's no reason to do that. And they gave me a great metaphor. They said, imagine you're walking down the street and it starts to rain and you come to a, a, a stoplight and you're waiting for the light to turn green and it's pouring and you're standing there and you're soaking wet. Now the person next to you says, hey, did you know it's raining? You don't need to be told it's raining. You can see by your clothes and by everything that you're soaked. You don't need to summon, for someone to tell you that. You know already in advance that you don't uh, you know, uh, have anything to protect you. So all you have to do now is react, all right? Do you want to buy umbrella? Do you want to take cover? Do you want to get to your car faster? But you don't need someone to tell you. It's the same way, in our opinion, with earnings. We don't need an earning uh, announcement to come out to tell us what to do or what side of the market to be on. Most of the information is already ahead of the game by the simple techniques we teach you. So that's all, in our opinion, what you need to know. Therefore, to answer your question, we don't rely on news announcements at all. Once again, in our opinion, they only serve to overcomplicate your trading, okay? I haven't used news for 30, 30 years and I'm still trading, okay? Um, would you look at market depth for day trading? No, I, I don't look at that at all. Once again, it, overcomplicating your trading. There's no reason in our opinion to do that. Everything you need to know is in the chart and in the patterns we teach you. You know, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, boy, well, how can I trade that way? Well, trust me, once you learn how to trade with this simplicity, it's so much easier. You don't have to spend a lot of money for extra things. It's just right there. And you can decide. Remember, as I stated in the opening, our goal is to put you back in, in the, the process where you can uh, make your own trading decisions. You don't rely on an outside source, some trading guru, or some indicator, some news announcement to tell you what to do. We want you to make your own decisions because that's the way you get on that road to success. That's what changed my trading around, and that's what I teach all of my students, okay? In closing, here's the information you need to take advantage of that really deep discounted offer. Only $37. You can't really get cheaper than that for all the great information that's included. It's an online course, so we'll just uh, uh, you know, set you up with the link, and you can watch it whenever you'd like, and it's yours to keep. It's not something that's only good for a couple of weeks. It's yours for life. And you also have my personal email address where you can contact me with questions. And then hopefully you can uh, become a member by uh, buying other full-fledged strategies that meet your needs as well. You can call the people at Trading at Pro Trader Strategies uh, at 310-598-6677. And once again, they've kindly put up the link up there at the very uh, on your uh, chat box so that you can just simply click that on and take advantage of that $37 deal. Okay. In closing, I think our, our time is just about up. In closing, I want to thank you all for attending today. I want to thank all the good people at Metastock for uh, inviting us once again and giving us the opportunity to speak. And that's why we wanted to share this really deep discounted deal with you because of our associated association with Metastock, okay? Thank you so much for attending. I look forward to all of you becoming members and students of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much, and we shall see you next time. Bye-bye.